So again, pretty basic we'll start out with. Okay? First one's just resist the drop. Now, one thing in our three-step, in our three-step, our three steps just a quick turn and release, okay? Again, if you get him, it's almost like a mini ply, all right? So from that standpoint, when he's in shotgun, we'll do, the, we'll do like just a quick turn. I'll make sure, I'll put some shackles, so show him three step for that. Three step for a drop back quarterback, okay? Go ahead, coach. All right, I'll just resist his drop, okay? Ready, go. Okay, I'll resist his drop now, give me a three step like a drop back, three step drop, ready, go. Good. Now Joe's alignment. I was trying to get a skill guy here, but <laughs> so, again, so again, just again. Ready? Go. Good. Good. Okay. Again, all I'm training is that three step. From this, from my philosophy, again, we're going from here. I want him to be able to put if he's a right-handed quarterback. First step is what? Putting his left foot in the ground. He's producing just a little bit more force. Just a little bit more force. Okay. To train that split second. Resist, resist, resist. I want him to be able to eccentrically absorb the force of his right leg, okay? Coach McCall, our quarterback's coach, talks about 60-40 transfer, okay? Only thing I'm working on is him to be able to absorb the force, force of that leg. If he's able to absorb the force from that resistance that's being created, he will be able to transfer his weight on the field and make the throw that I want him to make, okay? When I think of training the quarterback, I think of ankle knee, I think of ankle knee, hip, trunk, shoulder, elbow, wrist. That's how I train a quarterback. 